We're here in Philadelphia at Thomas Jefferson University. And we're here to check in on the light output. The output is very strong here on the LEDs. And as we go through with the gate, we're gonna see the breadth of the uh, retrofit across the uh, floor plate here of the parking garage. So what we're going to look at is the dual module aspect of what's up in the ceiling. So these um, fixtures are vapor tights and include the LED modules, four feet long each across the breadth of the locations, which we're basically replacing one to one the much higher wattage metal halide fixtures. The key with any parking garage is to have adequate illumination for safety and since they often run 24-7 with security considerations, the energy savings is often excellent. Safety first, with energy savings, makes for a great retrofit. And again, three years running, this is one of the very early retrofits with LEDs in the United States. Independence LED had moved in 2010, the manufacturing from China to southeastern Pennsylvania. So these also reflect one of the very early made in America products to create not just the energy savings, but also the jobs and motion towards American energy independence. To make sure people have um, the ability to get in and out, without banging into walls, making sure that their vehicles and themselves are safe. Consistent light, year after year, as many of you may know, metal halide lights burn out much more frequently than LEDs. So not only does Jefferson save on kilowatt hours in every given year, but also on the maintenance. In addition to auto safety, pedestrian safety is key. As we pan across this garage, it's very important to illuminate the actual pay station. So as people come to check out, we need to make sure that we have adequate light right here at the machines they pay. That's a security issue. In addition to saving energy, Jefferson has made a 
sustainability move to include these bike racks. And that's one more example of stewardship in the environment to make sure there's a choice other than cars. Parking garages with metal halides offer a tremendous opportunity in addition to the parking garages that already have the tubes. Here's a typical fixture. It's a circle. Well, check this out. Circles make cones of light. It's hard to get a garage, which is a rectangle, filled evenly with light when you're putting circles of light on the floor. Our fixture is linear as a rectangle to match the 10 by 20 ratio parking spaces and the overall rectangular shape of parking garages. I don't see a lot of round uh, parking garages. Think of this also as the dinosaur where we're rethinking the whole concept of illumination and it starts with something as simple as parking garages.